Welcome back to the Buckeyes 8 Wells. Today we're starting here at Fox Joy, Ohio, well fitting the Willard subdivision. And a little bit on the Fox Joy district. Today, we, we're having a good day here at Fox Joy till we missed M368. But we will catch that later on today. Let's get this 168. He would have a GMO leading, a Flare Mag second, with a wire 3 c paint scheme and a AC4400. Yellow Nose 2 throwing third at 168. That was the whole reason why, because I know you can see all the other stuff on the camera. My bad, I did get a good video on my phone. It's on TikTok. If you guys do not have TikTok, I'll link it down. But anywho, what we were taking a look here is B157. Heading for Gary, Indiana with the CSX 1776 Spirit of Armed Forces leading the way on this coke train heading for Gary, Indiana. This is basically 150. With the one unit in the lead, they would just have one unit leading 
with a long intermodal train for Detroit, Michigan. Sometimes 150 and 151 are usually long, sometimes they can be short. But this one today, they are long. Now, we did see a car backing up into a telephone pole at Poplar Street, where we're at right now. I figured, however, they would just stop and look at that car. They did not. Now we get I-10 heading eastbound with a junk junk GE's leading the way.
161 would end up getting his signal westbound on the Willard subdivision. After like five minutes later, 150 would clear. They would get a signal indication for 161. 161 is a very long one today, so they would have a lot of animal cars heading toward Obama. They would have 150 go by first, aisle 10 would have been next, but now 161 ended up getting the signal to get to move now.
This was a slash north and westbound coal front. Would have been taking from the Columbus sub, taking the Y to go on to the Willard subdivision. Heading towards Gibson, Indiana. Now I'm not sure what the symbol on this one, but at the same time I was using my VHS video camera at the time because there is going to be some future videos of that quality camcorder but anywho I will still be posting high quality videos like this but there's going to be some videos that you will see of VHS but anywho we would end up just making some plans and see what the rest of the day would take us I'm pretty sure either this is 506 or 510. He would end up taking the connection to go north toward Wallbridge. If this is 510, he would go to Wallbridge, do some switching around there, and then basically go up to Detroit. But if this is 506, he would take the connection to go Wallbridge. But they, basically, this would have a solo CM44 MC, whatever it is, some weed build that is leading the way on this east slash north.
just call him and say he might be a or I had decided not to record this whole thing. It would just basically be a manifest. We would make our way towards Boiler, Ohio. Basically, we would have to go east side of town because by the time we got to Willard, they would get to the next signal east of town. And by the time we made it to that, they were on a move. So we did had to make it onto the road, make our way eastward. Going to be between Willard and Greenwich, Ohio. We're not basically going to Greenwich. We just had a really good shot in mind. You can see the Conwell right there. Man, it's cool to see again since August I last seen the Conwell. I figured we'd get this spot here of the Conwell and then make our way back towards Fostoria.
we would have ended up getting a northbound in a model on the Sandusky District at Attica, Ohio. Basically, it was a total surprise to see something on the Sandusky District. But back here at Falls, Georgia now, here comes I-151 with a AC 4400 Lion 2 100 leading the way on 151 towards North Baltimore, Ohio. Thank you. 
After getting 151, we would end up getting another intermodal train heading westbound on a Willard bus. Basically, this would come out of nowhere, and basically, it would then bend behind us the whole time since we went into Australia. We missed an ethanol train with something good on it, but who cares? We went to get the Conwell, whatever. But whoever this Animoto is, he's basically heading towards North Baltimore. Either that, he's heading towards Chicago, basically. Or Bedford Park. That's where their destination is, if this is where they go.
we would so long get a westbound Wayner train on the Fast Royal District. I would say this would be 51G, but I would have no idea since not a whole lot of grain trains run on the Fast Royal District. Most of them run on the Chicago line from basically O'Cara all the way to St. Swan. That's them sometimes thinking all, all the way over to Waterloo, Indiana. Sometimes they just want it there. But sometimes Detroit line you get some here and there. But it's most likely Chicago line and Fast Royal District. This one is basically heading towards Bedford Park, Illinois, with a Blair Mac we build leading away on this 137. Either that, it's 135. So I'm not really sure on that. I heard a couple things about 135 and 137, but I think this is 137. So, yeah. It was kind of cool catching a Blair Mac, even though that, that's my second one of the day. Our first Blair Mac that we saw today was on I-168. It was trailing 4724. But then here's this one, 4753, leading the way.
even going to go up for them? I thought they did. We would get a NS eastbound on the cross joint of this one. This would end up being NS 148. 148 is the East St. Louis, Illinois, all the way to Bellevue, Ohio. That one is not for sure, but I think, if I think about this one, this one could be 32N. 32N is basically a Decatur to Bellevue, Ohio. Well, it can be a Bellevue, Ohio, but it's also a Conway, Pennsylvania train. A, the Ace had a P5, which is, sounded pretty good on the Ace. CFXT number 4568 would be trailing on 511. I'm getting some heads up that 511 would be parked north of Falls, Georgia. So after that NS eastbound, they would get 511 to head south to take southwest Y to take from the Pemberville sub to the Willard and then from the Willard to Deschler then basically the Toledo subdivision then they'll head to Cincinnati, Ohio Yeah. 
We get our last train here. I thought 4568 would be our last train here at Fox Roya, but then we end up just sticking around one more train, which would be NS303. 303 is basically above your Ohio to Elkhart, Indiana, with two GEs leading the way. Our day was basically really good around Fostoria area. Basically, Willard, 
a little bit of false joy of district. That was a good day. Even though we went to Willard for the Conroe, 1976. But anywho, our video here would end off here. Thank you very much for watching. I will see y'all either Michigan or State or the Buckeye State Wells.